What's up my piano friends? Today we're gonna to be talking about a new way to learn piano while learning your favorite songs from the radio right from day one. Using a 60 day foolproof game plan and a very specific tool that will make your life 10 times easier. But make sure you stick around to the end to find out if this is the absolute easiest way to learn and if this is actually a viable long-term strategy to learn piano the right way. Or if it's just a shortcut that's gonna really hurt your playing in the long run. All right, I'm ready to go, let's get started. So to learn songs on piano, there are multiple different ways that can work, right? You can use sheet music, you can use chords, you can use playing by ear, or you can use a new way to learn songs that's been catching on recently in the last few years. And that's these kind of top down tutorials where they show you exactly which notes to play and you literally just copy it note by note. Seems pretty simple and straightforward, right? So for example, if we wanted to learn the song All of Me by John Legend, we go to the tutorial and if we hit play, We literally can see exactly what notes they're playing and we just copy it note by note. And so what you do is you would take the right hand, you would figure out the right hand note by note, then you would learn the left hand and finally you would put it all together. And then you would repeat that for section one, two, and three. And by the end of it, you could play the entire song, All of Me by John Legend. And boom, you've just learned the song. But to make it even easier to learn, there's actually a couple tools on this website that makes it 10 times easier. And I'll tell you where to find this website in a bit. So basically, if you scroll on this bottom bar down here, you'll see a couple tools. The first one that I would use a lot is this bar right here, and it's rewind 15 seconds. So if you click this little arrow, basically, wherever you are at the video, it'll instantly rewind 15 seconds. So let's say you start to learn the song. And you're like, shoot, I missed that part. You can just hit rewind 15 seconds, and instantly it'll rewind, and you can see it play back over. And oftentimes if I'm learning using this method, I'll use this all the time to just, you know, re-go over a part that I quickly missed. Now, the second tool that's really useful is this loop tool right here. It looks like two arrows going in a circle. And what can you can do is you can start playing the song and if you hit it, that'll start the loop section and then you hit it again to end the loop section. And you can take the really tricky part of the song and just loop it over and over. So let me show you what I mean. So we can start playing it. And let's say this is the hard part. So we hit loop and then we hit loop again. And now what it'll do is it'll actually loop this section. So as you can see, it keeps looping it over and over. So that way I can see over and over the hard section of the song and I can really work on that part. Now the third tool that's really helpful is this one X down here. And this allows you to change the speed that it's being played. So if this is too hard for me, I could put it at maybe 0.75 X speed to slow it down a little bit. And now it plays a lot slower. And that way the hard sections of the song, I can work at a slower pace. And you can slow it down all the way to 0.5 speed if you need it even slower. And so now if you use this website, you have this whole array of tools in your tool belt to help you learn this faster. And that's why I always recommend that if you're gonna learn using this method, you use some kind of software or some kind of website to make it a lot easier for you. And before I tell you what website and what software I think is the best for learning this method, I wanna talk about the 60 day foolproof game plan. And this thing is absolutely important. See, when most people learn songs, they kind of just randomly pick songs and they'll kind of get like halfway through one and then they'll kind of learn a different song. And now, you know, you just kind of have a few songs that you kind of sloppily know. There's no game plan, there's no system. There's no step-by-step, -step. okay, here's where I am now. Here's what I want to be. And let me show you exactly the day-by-day -day method to get from one all the way to 60. So here's how it works. You're gonna choose 15 songs that you're excited to learn. And then the next 60 days, you're gonna learn all 15 of these songs with this game plan so that you have a whole array of songs in your tool belt to surprise your friends and family with. So to find these 15 songs, if you click find a song up here, then you'll notice this difficulty tab. And if you click this down arrow, you see it's easy, medium, and hard. So we wanna fi find five easy songs first, and then five medium songs and five hard songs. So I would click easy, and I would choose five songs out of this giant list of songs that I really would like to play. So for me, you know, I might do When I Was Your Man, I love that song, Bruno Mars. So When I Was Your Man, 
And then I might say the scientist. I love Coldplay, so the scientist. And then definitely All of Me, John Legend is something I love. Probably say something I would probably choose. A very romantic song. Um, something. And then I might do, I love Shape of You, Ed Sheeran. Great song, so Shape of You. And then I would say, okay, let's get off the easy songs and do the medium song. And I would pick five of the medium songs. So maybe I would do definitely Hallelujah. I think that's a beautiful song. Hallelujah. Um, I would definitely do the song What a Wonderful World. Great song to learn. Crowd pleaser. What a wonderful world. And anyway, I would keep doing this for the medium songs. And then finally, I would go on to the hard songs and choose five hard songs as well. And by the end of it, you're gonna have 15 songs, and this is what I call your goal songs, the songs that you really want to learn. Now you'll notice over here, for each song, there are actually four steps to really learn the song, right? Now you could just rush through it and kind of learn songs sloppily, but these four steps right up here, these are gonna make sure that you really drill these songs rock solid into your fingers. All right, so first up, day one, you're gonna take your first song, When I Was Your Man, and you're simply going to learn the notes. And it can be nice and slow. Don't worry about getting it fast. You just want to start getting these notes into your fingers. And once that's done for day one, you're simply going to cross it off the list. Then day two, you wake up and the song is already kind of in your muscle memory. So day two, all you're going to do is speed up the song from slow to fast using the tutorial video and then cross it off the list as well. Then day three, you go back to the piano and then you memorize the song. Now, this won't be that hard to do because you've just practiced it the last two days. So it's already kind of in your head. And once you finish that, you cross off day three. And finally, day four, this is the fun day. This is when you get to add emotion into the song. Now you know all the notes, they're sped up, they're memorized, and you can finally really put your heart and soul into the song. And once you've done that, boom, you've learned the song. And then the next four days, you take song number two and you repeat the same process. Day five, you learn it. Day six, you speed it up. Day seven, you memorize it. Day eight, you add emotion and boom, you have song to learn. And you simply keep repeating this for 60 days, 60 total days. And then by the end of it, you'll have 15 songs learned. You'll be way better at piano. And 15 songs, by the way, out of an average of four minutes per song is about an hour's worth of music. So literally, you could literally play gigs with an hour's worth of music. And so can you see how having this actual game plan is so much better than just kind of waffling around learning bits and pieces of random songs in the internet? having an actual 60 day plan to get there step by step. If you get it, smash that like button. It really helps out the channel and I'd really appreciate it. And of course, if you wanna download this 60 day game plan, just click the link up here and put in your name and email and get the sheet, it's 100% free. And the second piece of the puzzle is this website that I'm using. It's a site called HD Piano and I'll put the link to that up here as well. And for this kind of tutorial style of learning, it's the best one that I've found so far on the internet because number one, it has all of these, you know, slow down and rewind tools that make it a lot easier to learn. And number two, it literally has thousands of songs in the database that you can sort by easy, medium, and hard. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, this is a paid tool, but there is a 30 day free trial. So you can test it out and really see if you like it. And then after that, as you can see, it's only $9 a month, which to me is definitely worth it based on the huge database songs you get if you choose to learn piano with this kind of method. But that brings me to my next point, which is this. Is this actually a viable long-term strategy to learning piano? Or is this kind of just a shortcut to learn a few songs without really teaching you, you know, the underlying theory when it comes to piano? Well, the truth is it's kind of both. So let me explain. If your goal is to learn a bunch of your favorite songs and just have fun learning piano, you can absolutely do that with the HD piano software. In a way, it's kind of a, a meditative kind of process of learning note by note. You know, some people say it's kind of like doing Sudoku or doing the daily crossword puzzle. You know, it's just something that feels good as you learn note by note to learn song after song. Except, of course, instead of doing the daily crossword puzzle, you're actually getting better at a skill that's going to help you, you know, learn piano and learn actual songs. But at the end of the day, this is not going to teach you technique and the music theory behind what you're playing. And if you really want to be a well-rounded pianist, these things are very important. So basically, HD Piano is a great 
tool for learning songs, but I'd also recommend spending at least five to 10 minutes a day doing your technique exercises and learning some music theory. So if you wanna try out their software, just click the link, click this get started button and create your account and start your free trial. And you can start learning your favorite songs with the 60 day game plan goal sheet now.